guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. I hope you're all doing really well. So today we're gonna be playing with some Makeup Revolution makeup products, um, some a lot of new ones. So I'm really excited. They were so kind to gift all the makeup items items to me. I've gotten so many um, requests by you guys to try the new Makeup Revolution bits, especially the matte range, but I have really dry skin so I know that's not going to really work for me. But they did send me some really, oh, do you know what, I, I'm actually so excited. Well, You, you guys are going to see, like the products look so cool. Before we jump onto the video, I'm going to give it a post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Shark, Shark Sloan. You've been following me for ages, especially on Instagram. I'm so appreciative and thank you so much. For if you guys do want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. Okay, I'm just going to spritz the CBD Nourishing Essence Spray all over my face. I've just put on a bit of SPF. I'm going to just put a bit of moisturiser. I really love my brows today, they look extra sharp. I'm now gonna try some of the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Primer. This was very intriguing, so let's put some of this on. So this is a primer. I thought it was gonna be much more glowier than that, but. This gives an all over sheen, feels nice. Right, so next we have is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F11.5 and F11.2. I might be mixing the two, although I think 11.5 might be the right shade for me. That's 0.5, then we've got 0.2. Oh. You could say that 11.2 is literally my shade, and I know these oxidize, so I think I might go with. I think I might go with two. That foundation went on really, really, really nicely. Like, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's definitely more matte in my opinion because I had a really glowy base and it's still, it kind of took the glow away. It's more on the matte side for sure, but this is just flawless, flawless. You guys know I really like this foundation. I did put 11.2 everywhere, but then I used a bit of 11.5 around my mouth area just to remove the ashiness a bit because it matches me everywhere else, but anytime like it goes around my mouth, like it does go a little bit weird. But anyways, next up we're gonna be using the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. I've got the shades 11.2 and 10. So this shade is 11.2 and this is 10. I'm gonna be using this one today because this is too cool for my liking. And just from swatching them on my hand, they're super pigmented, very pigmented. I don't even think I need that much. They do remind me, they do remind me of the NYX, I forgot what it's called. I actually don't remember it, but I used to always use it around my um, eyebrows. But it's definitely got that very sticky, wet feel. I don't really like wearing concealers like that under my eyes but this one I don't know it looks good and it also dries down so I think I might really like this concealer oh look at that oh. do you guys see this do you guys see this flawlessness next thing we're going to be using is a revolution bacon blot powder in the shade banana deep I'm just gonna set my under eyes Just a quick note, normally when I put concealer on my eyes, on my lids, and by the time I get to powder, it's already done creases. This one hasn't yet. Bloody fly. <sighs> but yeah, that's a sign, like that hasn't creased yet. So I'm impressed so far. We're gonna be using the Revolution Mega Bronzer in warm number two. A huge, huge, huge bronzer, but we're gonna try this right now. Oh, 
All right, so the bronzer is not my favorite out there. It's got it's a bit powdery, and there's quite a lot of um, kickback to it. But yeah, it's definitely more on the powdery side. But so far, I'm really happy with the way this is looking, but I wouldn't say the bronzer is my favorite. Out of all the bronzers I've got, it's not the one I would reach for first. Um, we're now going to use some of the Revolution Blusher Reloaded Baked Peach. I've been so obsessed with blush lately, like, I don't know, it just does something. It just does something. So I try to like bring it up a little bit, not just put it straight on the apples on my cheeks. But yeah, that is very pretty. Love this. I love this shade. It's brighter than any other blush I have, to be honest. The Revolution Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. This is in Savannah Nights. I'm gonna try to use a bit of the bronzer around my nose. Not mad at that. Now time for a bit of the highlighter which looks so stunning. Just look at that. Ooh, no ashiness when I look straight. That's pretty. I'm just gonna finish off with a bit of the saying spray. Okay, I'm just gonna do my eyes quickly and I'll be right back. Now for lips, I did receive some of their new nude lipsticks, which I'll do a separate lip swatch video for. I'm so excited to try this, but I thought, let me include one in this video. I'm gonna be using the Revolution Matte Lipstick in Muse, which is a stunning shade. Alright guys, this is the finished look. It looks really, really nice. Although I do have some points to mention. Now the concealer is really nice, amazing coverage, but it's a bit like too dewy for my liking. Even though like I put powder twice, uh, the foundation I actually really like with the setting spray because it kind of like made it a bit more glowy again. Um, I have to let you guys know with about the primer and the concealer, but yeah, I don't know, it's like a bit too shiny for my liking. The powder is actually very matte, but again, I'm just gonna have to use it with other concealers and see how it, I get on with it. I really, really like the foundation, the blush for sure, and I did really like the concealers, but again, I just have to work with it, maybe with other powders, but it's I, I'm just loving this whole look right now. Thank you so much to Revolution for sending these over for me to try out. Let me know what product really stood out to you in this video. I think for me, I don't know why, but I've just been so obsessed with blushes. I'm going to say the blush, but the foundation is gorgeous. And I love that I have a better match for my skin because I used to use like, I think it was F12, which was the, one, the only shade that really matched me, but it was a bit too dark and too neutral. But thank you so much for watching. If you guys want me to do like more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!